Hey, good afternoon. Um, today's Sunday, October 22nd, and my second gate is not working. <clears throat> I'm driving up there now. It's not working because the batteries keep dying and the solar panel is not charging. And um, I checked all my connections and that was working well. Um, the panel was getting solar, but the batteries were still dying. So I changed out to a stronger panel thinking they just weren't getting enough juice and they continue to die. And um, then I checked the new solar panel and I wasn't getting a current on it. So I've decided that I am going to switch out the solar panel and I'm going to add an external charge controller. By doing the external charge controller, um, I'm going to use one of the Victron Energies and you can actually, uh, I can see on my phone if the batteries are charged or not. So that should work well. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put an external box for it so that it's waterproof and protected and then uh, run, put a new panel up and then run power um, from that to the, uh, to the new charge controller. Um, if I look at this panel now, hang on a sec. Let me turn you around. Now if I look up here, I'm getting a green light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my meter on here to see if I get any charge. So Kind of hard to do one-handed. There we go. Got both of them touching, and I'm getting zero current from the panel. So I don't know what's up with that. That's a brand new panel, but I bought a new panel, which is this guy right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put the new mounts on it. messy worker I tell you I wish I had more time in the day okay so this came with these uh, these connectors and I do have those from putting in my my big panels but um, let's see if we can put the meter on here and see what it'll do this panel even though it's not getting sunlight is putting out 12 volts and it's a uh, there's not a negative sign in front of it, so that tells me that this is my positive, this is my negative. You can also look on here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little positive sign right there. So that's what I need to make an extension to go to the new box. So this little gray box down here is the new box. I brought some extra tools. This is the charge controller, so this is a 75 volt, 15 amps. And uh, I'm not going to be pulling very many amps at all. So I just got the smallest one I could find and ordered all that on Amazon. This box here, this comes from Lowe's. And it will serve as a waterproof kind of a junction box for everything. And then I have a, a little handy dandy connector that I'm going to screw in here. So I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of this, screw this connector in, take the lid off, mount it to the fence, and then... Um, and then I'll install all the new stuff. So that's what I'm working on. All right, so what I have to do is I'm going to pull down this panel now and move those mounts over to the new panel. And uh, I hope that it, it all fits appropriately. I might have to modify it. I did bring a saw. This panel looks wider. But that panel is definitely not putting out any power. So... Um, so that's the problem. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this one. I'm wondering if when I put this in the box if these wires touched each other and shorted out the panel because 
there's no voltage at all and I don't know how to maybe I can take that apart it's the lights flashing like it's working but it's definitely not working and then I gotta so I drilled a hole in it and mounted this on here to do that so I think what I'm gonna do is take a, a piece of wood and screw the wood to the new panel and then put this screw these brackets onto the piece of wood let's see let's see how it works but this can go into the junk pile perfectly good piece of wood here but my screws are not going to be long enough to reach all the way through. That would work. Let's see if these would work. Okay. I'm going to go. I actually found these in the, the back here. These would work nice. These go for the uh, the metal, like on the, the tin roof. But these, I don't have a bit with me for these, but I do have several of these screws and I do have the bit. So that'll work. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off right there. don't really come with anything so basically you got your battery you got your, your solar panel and then you got your load so the way this is wired the batteries go right to the load so I'm just gonna have my solar panel come in and then the batteries come in here and this will mount inside the box So here's the finished product. Got the panel in, wires come down, going in through the hole, plug it in. I got a green light, I don't know if you can see it. I got a green light in there showing that everything's working. I was getting 18 volts from the panel and then the battery was at 14 volts. Um, this did not pop up on my phone. And the only thing I can think of, and I need to read the instructions, but I think it is not a Bluetooth device, which is disappointing to me because I like Bluetooth. And so if I read and it's actually not, I'm going to return this one and order one that is. So that way I can just drive by here and see that it's all charged up and going. Um, and then I don't have to worry about anything else. So I'm gonna put the cover on this thing and uh, call it a day, all right? Thanks for watching.